two, three. This is Kathy and Dee Dee, and we're going to play Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Hi, this is Eating Kathy. How is that little number? All right, no. We appreciate that very much. Okay. Um, we got new glasses about a week ago, a week and a half ago. Edie likes mine better than hers. Sure. And oh, Kathy. Yeah. And ca they're both plastic frames. And they look weird. They're big. They look bigger on us because we've had such small. When we lines. try the old ones on. They look like we're grown an inch. Yeah. And for my major grades on my report card, I got a B in science, a B plus in English, an A minus in math, and an A in social studies. Forget mine. Let's just skip over that. Part. B, B plus. B plus. Okay. All right. Um. After day after Christmas, I have to go to the orthodontist to get my braces. Yeah, yeah she has to get braces. But now I'm at 26. I'm going to get them sometime, maybe in January. Yeah. But I'm going to get braces. And thank you for the money very much. Yes. Happy and Merry Christmas. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Year. We're chatting to you and all of your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Da, da, da. <laughs> all right, that was, that was just a little cheering there. Tomorrow we're going to go up, down, whatever, to Mrs. Baird's, and we're going to meet some of the other girls that go to their church that live around here. Oh, we're doing that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make Christmas cookies and decorations. Um, cause some of their, some of the people that go to the church live around here, and they go to private schools and they don't know anybody around here. Um, so we got some snow about a week ago, but it's sort of gone now, and it's it been really, cold. really cold here. And not last not night cold. it was five degrees. I know it's colder there, but it's cold for here because it's usually not this cold. And it's gonna be cold, but it's gonna get a tiny bit mild, milder. This is Nancy, Greg, Jeffrey, and um, Kathy sing. Kathy singing. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. We changed our mind, and Greg and Jeffrey have pooped out. So now it's only me, Kathy, Dee Dee, and Nancy. Thank you. 
part of the tape is for Nancy, Jeff, and Greg. Okay. Uh, okay. This is Nancy talking right now. Um, have a happy new year and a merry Christmas. I miss you very much and I love you too. Tell, I miss Uncle Gary. Can you tell, I mean, can you tell Grandpa that I have millions of knuckle sandwiches for him? And so when I come out there, when I come in the door, before I take off my jacket, I'm going to give him 10 hundred knuckle sandwiches. And I said, I'm going to, Mom's going to send a package of Christmas presents to um, you um, tomorrow in the morning. You'll, re you'll get them by Christmas, I hope. Um, Right now, I'm going to sing Jesus is Born on Christmas Day. And it's going to be accompanied com by Jeff and Greg. Do you know it? basketball because oh, I, I went to the Harlem Globetrotters game. It's pretty good, but when you see it on TV, th they show only the good parts. When you get there, they miss some, most of the half-court shots. And the second game was a really rough game. It a lot of fouls in it, and we lost. <coughs> so we lost two games so far. Not as good as... Um, I'm the youngest, um, it's fifth and sixth grader, so I'm the youngest there. But we only have one sixth grader in all fifth graders. That's one good thing about it. School's been fine, no problems. I haven't got your present yet. It's too cold to go down anywhere. So it's been so windy. You're telling me. I concert is coming up on Thursday. Yeah. I have two songs I'm gonna play for you a little later. And let's see. Got our we have our Christmas tree and it's all set up. They've all almost all the presents. We got your package. Thanks for the money, too. I think I'm going to sign off now. <coughs> oh, my father fixed my baritone case through the wreck. And, um, Nancy's going to say something right now. So, hold on. Um, did you know I'm starting skating lessons? Well, at, in skating lessons, we're learning how to skate backwards. And um, when I skate backwards, it's really hard because when when you it's hard because when you do something with it, like we um skate backwards and we put our feet in and out, and it's really hard because you don't go it's hard to get going and get really get going like going fast because you don't really move anywhere so it takes a lot of practice and i think it was last saturday no i'm 
I don't know which Saturday it was, but on Saturday, um, on at swimming lessons, we had the test. I didn't go because I was sick, but it was a test. And I don't know what they did, but I'm glad I wasn't there. <sighs> I couldn't go because I had a cold. Um, I think Greg is going to play now, so goodbye. My first song is going to be Deck the Hall. It's not the melody. I'm playing the harmony because I never get to play the melody because I have a low instrument. So, th don't, if there might, there's going to be a lot of sort of rest, long rest things, so just be patient. This is William Tell Overture. Now the 16 measure, measures rest at the beginning, so I'm going to skip that and start in from there. Part. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Goodbye. This is Joanne. I'm next. Greg does pretty well. You're going to miss his band concert Thursday night. That's always something to go to, especially the week before Christmas. Good grief. We got the tree up. Looks lovely. Some decorations around. We're pretty well set. One thing I can't seem to get going on is the Christmas cookies. They just disappear into thin air. I hit a few. I'm having a cookie exchange party tomorrow. Luckily, I've got a few I can exchange. I haven't sent out my cards yet, either. I, was, I wrote a few, but I was waiting for the kids to get their school pictures. And now everybody's got theirs except Jeffrey, who should get his tomorrow. Now I can finally mail some of the cards. Since I write so often, I figured I'd better wait and get everything in one, one mailing. <coughs> I've gotten a slight cold. Bad timing to have one. Kathy's got a sore throat. Nancy's got a cold. But other than that, not too bad. I don't want to take up too much time. This is a short tape. Merry Christmas. Wish we could be with you. I hope your presents work out all right. I'm uh, 
spending the money you've sent for the kids and getting them things out. I'll write it or send a tape later telling you what they got. Don't want to let them replay this and find out. Merry Christmas. This is the patriarch of the Olin family. It is December 18th. It's about 10.30 p.m. It's about 5 above. And everybody's in bed. Except for the kid. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas in Minnesota. Especially Nan and Papa and Grandpa and Grandma. All of the Wallsteads and the Schoenstroms and the hills and the valleys and the Chisholms. Anybody else I might have forgotten? Johnsons and Johnsons. We are uh, anxious to get our wood stove in. I finally got my stainless steel stove pipe and I'm uh, planning to put it in Saturday. And if I can get it inspected, we might have a fire on Christmas. We uh, have our tree up and lots of presents. I'm uh, not sure what's coming to Minnesota yet or what Joanne's gotten or what she hasn't gotten. We're really behind this year. Been very busy at work and uh, church. Lots of school events, concerts. I guess the kids played some on the other side. They're making a little progress, more than their father is. And post projects. I have a lot of insulating to do. It's getting pretty cold. Oil is about 86 cents a gallon, I think, now here. Gas is almost a buck for a regular. And it ain't going to get no cheaper, they say. We, uh, are going over to Alden Johnson, Alden and Priscilla Johnson's house on Christmas Day. And the Dan Kelly's invited us to come out there too, so we may hit two spots in one day. We are not working on Monday, formally anyway. We are working New Year's Eve day. And we should go over our $2 million mark this month this week. So uh, not too bad a year considering, but it's really hard to make a buck with all the inflationary pressures. Some products have gone up 25% in parts cost this year. And uh, we're under a lot of pressure to get the cost down, keep the labor down. A lot of new people. I think we had 48 people on our Christmas list this year, so the company's really getting big. Makes you long for the good old days when there were about four people and you wondered whether you're going to get your paycheck or not. We had the Thornton Christmas party last Friday night. We were out till about midnight. We had a buffet with uh, well, mostly Chinese food, some uh, mixture of things. And uh, we had a band that played, uh, one of the singers was a girl who used to work for us. And then Saturday night we had a Christmas party in Acton at the Soli's house uh, with the people from church. And Sunday we had the church choir concert with bell ringers from the Lexington Church and our own choir and Greg and some of the Trailblazer kids sang too. So it's a very nice program. Had a good time. But sort of looking forward to the new year and being able to relax a little bit. Too many things to do. We've been talking about buying a different car, too, because of the price of gas. Figure we'll spend about $1,300 in gasoline on the old clunker, and we could almost divide that in half if we had a 
Chevy Citation or a Volkswagen Rabbit, something like that. So Joanne's sort of thinking about maybe getting a different car. Trouble is we couldn't get anything for the old one either, I don't think. And we need some furniture and talking about our trip next summer and what we're going to do there. Hope to have a little surprise for the kids for Christmas on that. And other than that, things are puddling along as usual. Jeffrey seems to enjoy school a little bit more now. And he and Nanny are really full of it lately. They're getting on their mother and father's nerves. They're just always into something and teasing each other and laughing and giggling and not eating their dinner and just fooling around most of the time. Craig is uh, pretty anxious to get his basketball skills going and wants to practice all the time. There aren't too many indoor places he can play during the week, though. And Dee Dee sort of hibernates in a room as usual, not too much new, although her attitude has been pretty good around Christmas. She's excited about that. And Kathy's typical teenage know-it-all. She's expert on everything. They're all pretty good kids. We're having a little tough time sometimes getting them to help out when they ought to and keep from leaving their glasses and dishes and everything all over the house. Seem to think their mother should pick up after them. But they're probably not too much different from their mother and father that way. That's part of the problem, is the kids end up being so much like their parents. What else? Well, I've got uh, the windows for the front just about done. I've got to paint the outsides of them, and then maybe I'll get them in before the new year, too. That would be a real accomplishment. I put another piece of plexiglass in the garage door because Greg, Greg's friend broke out another window and put one in the kitchen window where there wasn't a storm window. Little by little trying to seal all the cracks and crevices. But uh, there's a ton of them. So, I don't know, this thing looks like it might be running out. Wish you could all come out here and see a hectic Christmas, but uh, maybe we'll get together one of these years. We're uh, hoping to get away for a weekend, Joanne and myself, one of the couples at church offered to do that, so maybe in January we'll go skiing or just uh, spend a weekend away. Kids are anxious to go skiing, but we don't have much snow yet matter of fact, here it's all gone. Up north, they don't have much yet either. Matter of fact, the last two days of the first two days, it has really been below freezing here, and now it's got quite cold. Although the long-term prognosis is that it won't stay this way very long. You can just sort of feel the oil being sucked up when you sit in here when it's cold. So we'll keep the cards and letters coming and try to do some more of these tapes. These 30-minute jobs aren't too bad, and you can almost stand making them as much as you can stand listening to them. Merry Christmas to Gary, too, and all the other relatives and the Kuhns and Johnsons and the Olins and the Schoenstroms. I would imagine that Roger and myself will be getting back there sometime during the winter.
check up on Dad and see how he's doing. I hope this winter goes well for everybody and then you don't catch the colds that we already have. The uh, Minnesota winters aren't too conducive to good health unless you can stand to get out and run in the snow drifts. I remember that day last winter when we were out there when it was about 10 below waiting for the bus and going downtown feeling that wind really gets cold. It felt about like that today here. There's about a 20 mile an hour wind. It was about five above. Don't miss the Minnesota winters too much out here. Miss the people, but not the winters. Like to uh, get back and see some friends at Minco. I noticed there was a magazine I was reading today had an ad for Minco. Pretty soon the Thornton Associates ads will be coming out for our new product line. Probably January, February. We'll be sending you some stuff on that when we get them done. Spent a lot of money on this, so I hope the economy holds up for a while. Doesn't look like the industrial electronics business is slowing down at all. We really, really got a good backlog of orders right now. Even our educational business has been good. So we're hiring people all the time. We're going to probably have to hire a new secretary and talking about getting a computer. Out of time here. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Love you all. Bye.